refresh my page. Okay. Okay, we should. Oh, there we go. Are we there? I think I see it. There we go. Start yes. watching. Is it yep. Much for mature audience. <laughs> Here we go. Groovy. Okay, fantastic. Okay, thank you. Uh, for everyone who is here, uh, which is probably just you and you and I, but this is uh, probably going to go out there into the internet. Uh, so my name is Bruce. <laughs> hey, Flora. Flora's here. Okay, so let's not forget about Flora. Sorry, Flora. My bad. Uh, Hi, Flora. Flora's here. Hey, Flora. How you doing? Uh, let's let's uh, show Flora some love here. Flora, our technical wizard. And long suffering technical uh, person here. Uh, mm -hmm. Very much, Floor. Uh, and uh, so we are here at this uh, point in time to uh, discuss um, and look through the exhibition. And uh, my name is Breeze. Canyon. This is a Breeze Canyon online gallery. It's a virtual online gallery. And if you scroll down the panels and have a look, you'll there's a whole bunch of details there and uh, about uh, the actual gallery, uh, where we're situated online, how we came about, and um, a whole bunch of other bits of information. But uh, you can go through that at your own time. Uh, but I really, well, I've got uh, Groovy here. Uh, we're going to talk to, uh, this, this, this exhibition uh, is called Artworks. It's a group exhibition. It's got a whole bunch of Twitch, uh, amazing Twitch artists here. And we are really fortunate enough to have Groovy Blue Hue, who is one of the uh, exhibitors here. And we're going to talk to her and get an opportunity to hear what, uh, um, to learn from her to uh, get some mm -hmm. uh, information about her artwork, uh, where we can find her, what in, uh, inspires her, some of her life experiences, and uh, we're going to try and fit that all into uh, a short amount of time. Um, so without further ado, uh, let me introduce you to Groovy. So Groovy, uh, the voice that you hear now is uh, the mm -hmm. voice of uh, one of our artists here. Uh, uh, exhibiting in this uh, exhibition, and her name is Groovy Blue Hue. Groovy, would you like to say hi? Hi everybody, it's Groovy Blue Hue here, <laughs> and hopefully I do okay at this because I always get a little nervous, but it's a pleasure to be here, Breeze. Thank hey. you for having me and having me in your gallery. Hey, it's an honor to have you here, and um, if uh, to a lot of uh, Twitch uh, uh, viewers, the, um, when you um, peruse through the uh, Twitch uh, creative uh, uh, category you'll most likely come across uh groovy so i'm pretty sure she's uh, not a stranger to a lot of you but um we got we got we have a couple of questions um that we can uh kind of th throw to her and see how she feels them but uh, let's let's get into the exhibition and uh, we'll learn more about groovy and about her artwork as we go along so uh without further ado let's kind of uh see how uh, we do that. Um, that sounds okie dokie or chokey to me. Okay, great. Here we go. So <laughs> we've got, um, let me just get rid of the, uh, the hours. Where are they? Okay, here we go. All right. So let's, let's go, let's go into the exhibition. Sure. Okay. And so what you'll see here, you'll see a whole bunch of uh, categories. So this is a, uh, this is a category here. Uh, and you just click on any one of these as you go along, and it'll probably tell you, and, and it'll give you um, the That artwork. is so cool. <laughs> right? And so what we're doing is we can go through here, and there's a whole bunch of, uh, well, there's amazing artworks from a lot of the uh, Twitch artists here. So what we do is mm -hmm. uh, we could go through here or we could just click on that button 
-hmm. and then we can just move around just freely okay so there will be a link there is a link uh you can go to the uh gallery website and check it out but we can do all that later so just a quick little overview of the exhibition that's okay. so lovely how you put that all together and then i like how your artwork is right there in the corner <laughs> and it's so vibrant with colors it's amazing and everybody's yeah. artwork is so nice too yeah Oh, yeah. there's little people standing. Yeah. Oh, I'm glad you noticed that. I'm glad you noticed. Groovy. So there, there's some people here, and uh, you can see it kind of gives you an idea of the scale. Now, uh, of course, I've, the idea I've of the future. Yeah. Exactly. Real life uh, gallery. <laughs> fantastic. <laughs> and if you if you kind of like want to like, you can always come up to this corner here onto the menu. And uh, mm -hmm. if you're not sure, again, you can click on uh, the introduction. It gives you a little bit of an idea of what the exhibition is about. You can have an invite. All right, so you can invite people mm -hmm. to the exhibition. So everybody so, should invite everybody they know. Yeah, exactly. So Tell you've got your Facebook friend. and you can pin it. You've got all this, uh, your social media here. And you can uh, tweet, tweet the exhibition out to whoever. And they can come, they'll get a link, and then they'll come and visit the exhibition. Um, mm -hmm. You can also, uh, here, you can hide people, just like that. And this will tell you how to move. That'll give you some instructional. So if ever you come to the exhibition, that'll just give you some uh, tips on how to navigate through here. So it'll make your experience a little bit more pleasant. So without further ado, uh, what we can do is, if we go back like this is like a nice little trick but i should say mm -hmm. once um this is powered by the lovely folks at exhibit.com now uh, they are the ones that build the the um the 3d virtual world that we're in and so wow um, that's yeah. really cool so they, they've got several different templates and uh so what we so what i've got i've, I've got one here and it's dedicated to uh bringing um uh, art exhibitions from different artists from all over so what we do we just click on that double click on that double click on that picture and it takes us right over here okay so that takes us mm -hmm. to groovy's artwork here so groovy i was looking at this the other day and i was quite a um i got into a, quite a deep philosophical um discussion um and i was thinking wow this is quite interesting and i had my own different ideas and i was thinking <clears throat> i really must get groovy in here to explain what this piece is about because uh, uh my, i was going off into a little tangent so would you love uh -huh. to be able to explain what this piece is for our viewers oh yeah i would love to but at the same time i'm curious as to what you thought it was about but for me personally yeah. mm -hmm. it is Mm, kind of a like a fiction of how I see myself like I'm a very happy person and I'm full of kindness and caring mm. and like I always just want to like show the world like what I can do and like I'm just full of like all this like imagination inside of me but I have minty minty, I have, <laughs> minty. I have, you know minty is a sweet <laughs> You know, minty is a sweet. Uh, in New Zealand and Australia, a little minty is a yeah. sweet. So you have a lot of sweetness. Oh. Well, I do have a lot of sweetness in me. Yeah. But I have a lot of um, uh, chronic illnesses, and I deal oh. with a lot of mental health. And so when people do view me outside in public, mm. since I have Tourette syndrome, oh. all I am is very shaky and... A lot of people don't want to get near me or they don't want to talk to me like talk to me or get like even sit next to me right. and they avoid me because of the way i look or right. the way i move mm -hmm. so that's pretty much what this drawing kind of perceives it's like the outside nobody can really tell because they just read a book by its cover but if they would take the time and talk to me they would understand that i'm actually a really kind person yeah. and they shouldn't judge me for having tourette syndrome or having any disabilities or things 
That's amazing. Yeah, so that's why the black part has a lot of skulls and it's like dripping. Like it's very like a very like negative aroma, I guess, or like a little aura of negativity. Yeah. But um, like the inside is filled to the broom with positivity and happiness. Um, Flora in the chat says that's a shame. Uh, they're missing out on uh, what a wonderful person you are. Yeah. I agree, yeah, yeah. So thank you very much, Chad. Thanks, Flora. That's true. I mean, uh, when, but the, we we kind of live in a world where people are judged judged by what um, you know what they see. You know, they say you never judge a book by its cover, but people do, right? People do that. Yeah, many people do judge books by color colors <laughs> by, <laughs> by covers, and it's very it's very difficult and so that's why i try my hardest to be a good advocate for chronic right. illness and mental right. health because if people would just take the time and actually talk to others mm. and get to understand what they really are like mm. then maybe they would make even more friends in the world and more people could live happier and easier lives yeah um like i like the word you use the advocacy you know, ad, like advocates because um <laughs> You know, I would, I don't know how to say survivors. I, I just because you're you're still living. I don't know. I don't know how to word things. I'm I'm not like I'm not very uh, well versed in, in that. But I I think it's a good thing that um, that you kind of an advocate for for mental illness or for what you're going through in helping other people to kind of see that um, how to interact with with pe pe people with um, some form of disability. What what kind of just a question? What kind of um, uh, advice or what kind of um, tips uh, would be helpful for someone uh, who perhaps is kind of unsure of how to to behave or act or kind of treat others? What would you suggest would be like a good uh, like several like two three steps or something something that would be useful practical to help someone? To get over themselves <laughs> in a way like hey stop treating people like you know how how would what what would you advise like you know? <laughs> tell somebody to stop treating people like garbage <laughs> yeah, yeah 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 that's a start it's a start Re really yeah it's a shape yeah it's a way to just kind of like hey you know mm -hmm. people are not all as you know what you yeah that's true so I that's a good start the best thing to do is just yeah. keep showing them compassion and kindness until mm -hmm. they just kind of are like overwhelmed like with all your kindness and they're just like okay well this person's really nice you know why was i doing this like just keep showing them that you're a good person yeah. like don't lower yourself to their levels don't you know become that type of person don't throw negativity at them just show them kindness yeah. and hopefully with all of the kindness that you're spreading maybe you'll rub off of them and then they'll realize you know what maybe i need to take like some change to my character and maybe I should look past yeah. the things that I was thinking of before. That, that That's, um, you know, that is so true. And at the same time, so hard. It's such a difficult yeah, it's, thing. It's very hard to be nice to people that are very rude and mean, yeah. but sometimes you just got to do it. And mm. like the more, like the more kindness you show them, the more angrier they get. <laughs> which is yeah. kind of funny yeah but <laughs> yeah it's, it's yeah, hopefully yeah. they'll get so frustrated that they'll be like why are you being so nice i'm always mean to you and then maybe you could explain to them you know kindness is better than being mean to yeah. others yeah. and maybe they'll learn a lesson from that that's so true that's some great advice that's some great advice <laughs> so, um Ruby, thank you very much look i want to bring it back to your your drawing here now it's called inner peace <laughs> Now, what you see mm -hmm. kind of resonates with me because when I was mm -hmm. thinking about this 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 PC that you did, um, yes, I know like how I internalized it. I was looking at this and I was thinking, I looked at the kind of the black oozing mm -hmm. kind of matter, like tar, you know, like hot yeah. tar that you kind of you see on the roads that melt on a hot day yeah and also uh, this is how i looked at it i looked at it like tar that kind of like mm -hmm. you know when it's stuck to something it kind of looks yeah. very hard to, to remove you've got to really really work 
hard to, to, to remove it and sometimes you need some kind of um, turps or some kind of soap or some kind of industrial soap mm -hmm. to really remove it. It's really tough to get off. And, but sometimes yep, you, you just can't get off. it off. Yeah, yeah. It just, just caked on. And when I, when I saw yeah. that, I thought to myself, boy, here's someone who's understood that this is something mm -hmm. that's not going away anytime soon. It's caked yeah. on. It's 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 like it's like skin that's it's, you know that movie um what's that movie called Venom? It looks kind of yeah. like Venomish, you know, it's kind of you know, I didn't think of Venom, but I'm just I thought about it now, but it's kind of like, you know, something that kind of attaches itself or it's something mm -hmm. that becomes part of who you are that you kind of have to live with almost like something you're living with. And so I looked at this yeah. and I thought that it's not part of you. The reason why I say it's not part of you, but it's part mm -hmm. of you, but it's not really part of you. And I'll explain. When I looked at it, like you're I not gonna let it take a hold of you. Yeah, yeah. Like it's 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 like it's part of you, but you, you see how your your hands are clearly defined. That's your hand, mm -hmm. and everything around it is kind of like it doesn't penetrate through to those lovely um patterned areas of your hand where you're peaceful it's creative mm -hmm. it's energetic it's got all those it's got all that life there and it doesn't kind of penetrate and start to to corrode those things it kind of just sits on the outside you know it kind of just like yeah all right we're not <laughs> going away we're not going away but we're just kind of like you know we 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 got to where else to go so i kind of mm -hmm. looked at it like this the the energy the, the the shape the form of this this hand doesn't alter one iota it just it's just it's just what it is and all this negativity around it is unable to actually penetrate and go any further than you know the skin it can't go beneath this so i i just mm -hmm. kind of looked at it like it was just like something you live with like you know something you live mm -hmm. with that you kind of will never be rid of but it's at the same time it doesn't alter the real person that you are inside it's just like it's another thing that as humans we have to contend with it's another thing that we have to battle mm -hmm. but it doesn't have to uh, darken your your heart or your your mind or the way you see things it's just another one of those battles that you know we have to pick up every every day that's how mm -hmm. I saw it. That's yeah. I don't know. <laughs> that is it... exactly what I was trying to perceive perceive as like the second way of seeing this, right. because I wanted it to be a piece where it reflects different aspects of my life. Right. So that is exactly kind of how it is, because I also deal with post traumatic stress disorder because I have had a very difficult life. So uh -huh. it is something that doesn't ever go away. Yeah. <laughs> so. I guess through my art, it's just like it kind of oozes out <laughs> yeah. all of the different types of things that I've dealt with. Uh -huh. But wow. so it's like it's really amazing that you kind of put that together. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's because great. Because despite all the things that I've gone through, uh -huh. I try to not let it hold me back. Like I don't want that to define me. Yeah. Like yes, I have panic attacks, and yes, I have flashbacks of things and horrible memories but i want to continue to spread positivity despite all of those things it's fantastic and you're doing that and you're doing that and <laughs> what we're going to do is we're going to head over to um when did you do this by the way tell us a little bit the, about the background when you were making this what was going on for you at the time like when did you make uh, this piece? what was going on for me at the time to be honest <laughs> i was in one of my friend's room and she sat me down with some uh, markers and papers, and she told me, here you go, go have fun, and she was playing video <laughs> games. So it's really nothing special, but, <laughs> I mean, you can do art anywhere you go. <laughs> That's right. That's right. But I was having, like, a very bad, mentally challenging day. Like, yeah. it was just very exhausting. Yeah. Because, you know, when you deal with certain things, like, it's always, like, kind of in the back of your head. Yeah. So I guess it just kind of, and I'm always, I'm always trying to advocate for chronic illness and mental health. Mm. So I always try to put together pieces that like I can feel from my heart and things. 
that other people can maybe connect to or yeah. relate to. Yeah. yeah. Um, so even though I was in like just a really random place sitting at a friend's desk, uh-huh. this is how I still made this piece. And I'm, I'm still really proud of it. Oh, it's fantastic. And now we, you could, you've shared it with the world and we're, we're happy that you have, and it can touch and, and, and actually tr- it, like it can kind of, uh what's the word it can become a catalyst for other people to think about their own lives and perhaps the way they they interact with other people because now you know they they, Mm -hmm. you know um, my hope and i'm sure it's the hope of everyone um watching is that you know we get to we get to um see and change our views on on people with Tourette's and with um post-traumatic stress Mm -hmm. that you know that they are beautiful people that they don't they shouldn't be uh, shouldn't be stigmatized in a negative way, you know, that, you know, that they're functional and they're doing great stuff and, and, uh, they're amazing people. So no, that's great. Thank you. And let's, uh, just jump into chat. Um, who put this bowl of onions here? Bowl of onions. Bowl of onions. <laughs> <laughs> that's from Flora. Flora. Yeah. I love onions. <laughs> I onions by the oh, way. I get it. Okay. I get the joke now. I was like, Shrek likes onions. <laughs> hey, I'm a little slow when it comes to certain type of jokes. I was like, what? <laughs> it's, but, hey, look. I, I have a, um, what do we got? It means I got teary-eyed. Aww. <laughs> That's from Flora. It, it's okay. I hope that my one day my life story can inspire others. <laughs> one day no. i'm just gonna keep working really hard and keep spreading advocacy about different things and showing the world that despite what you go through in your past you could come out at a very beautiful colorful end of the road that's so I hope. true that's so true that's so true and this is a fantastic piece uh inner piece by groovy blue who i love it it's fantastic um Thank you. I really appreciate that. Oh, it's so good. Look, if you click on the end here, you can, there's a little uh, uh, pop out. Now, Mm -hmm. you can inquire about it. You can uh, invite someone to come and have a look at it. Or if you go and you click here in the Mm -hmm. media, it'll also take you to uh, um, uh, Groovy's. Twitch channel, so because Groovy is also a Twitch, oh, Twitch Groovy. artist. Okay, so but w- what what we'll do is we'll uh, we'll go past that, and mm-hmm. what I've what I've organised here is uh, let me just um, here. So what I've organised now, I've just got to go in here and figure out. Um, oh, sorry. Now you can see there on the, um, you should mm. be able to see Groovy there. Hey, that's me. That's you. I'm looking like a goober. <laughs> oh, you're not a goober. Um, Thank you. <laughs> uh, let me see. What have we got? Now... I'm also a really colorful person, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now. Well, what I wanted to do here is um, just kind of take you through uh, and introduce you. This is Groovy's. Now, I hope you don't mind me doing this, um, Groovy. I should have asked you before. Well, you could do anything your little heart desires. No, I just wanted to. Sh- I just wanted to sh- just uh, promote your stream here. Uh, sh- she's got a Discord oh, server. Okay. She's got a. She's. Uh, you can subscribe to her. Donate. Oh, you yeah. can see my Amazon Prime thing. I yeah. wasn't sure if it worked. Thanks for showing me. Yeah, no, Amazon Prime. Where? Yeah, all the way. Amazon Prime. All the just got uh, Alien um, with biceps and pecs and abs. Um, <laughs> really cool. And she's got a Patreon. So yeah, go along and check out her Patreon. Become a Patreon and give her some money. Support her. Uh, and oh, also uh, Instagram. She has Instagram. Facebook, Twitter, go along to her, um, uh, I'm dying. 
put some uh, a link in. The, I should put a link in the in the chat. But have a look. Mm -hmm. She's got uh, links there to Tourette Association of America, America National uh, Fibro I can't fibro Fibromyalgia, and well, then I have Erlen yep. Syndrome links Erlen's there, and a link to the Asthma and Allergies Fan Association. Fantastic. <laughs> and you can check them all out on her on her page. And uh, yeah, we have we've got a, a little visitor in the chat. <laughs> Flora posted the buff alien. <laughs> <laughs> nice job. Thanks, Flora. So that's fantastic. Thank you so, for your support. <laughs> now, um, we I was going to pull up a whole bunch of questions, um, but. Uh, Here's a here's a little bit of groovy here. It's Groovy's channel. Um, <laughs> so that's, all that's, that's, alien hide. It's all aliens, it's, and that's fantastic. Yep. Uh, um, so that's that's Groovy. I could play. <laughs> that's me. That's her. <laughs> I felt like Amanda Bynes right there from all <laughs> that. <laughs> so guys, thank you very much. Um. Uh, I know I said I was going to keep this very short, Groovy, um, so I won't take up mm -hmm. any more of your time. Um, oh, you can talk as long as you want. I don't have any plans. <laughs> if oh, you need to ask any other questions or anything. Yeah, okay. I can ask a couple of questions. A couple of quick, yeah, quick, yeah, couple of quick questions um, so that we can don't get some... I, I, um, I've notified everybody on my Twitch that I'm going to be over here. Okay. So no stress. Okay, fantastic. Okay. I was just wasn't too sure about where you placed the time. Um, I can, oh no, uh, I already ate my chicken. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's all. That, well, chicken's nice, it's lovely. I mean, it is. I was nice. hungry. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna, um, okay, let me let me uh pull out these questions. Okie dokie or chokey. Um, oops, okay, okay, <laughs> oops, okay, that's me, um. Okay, let me pull these out. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh oh. <laughs> He's like, I am pre prepared. <laughs> I was. I was. I was shoving my dinner down my throat to make sure Oops. I was prepared. Okay. All right then. Okay. Now I've got some. Uh, now I gave you a whole bunch of questions, and uh, I'm pretty sure that. And I'm really grateful, and I'm really um, appreciative, Groovy, that you that you um, that you answered these. Now I'm gonna just ask you a couple of questions from here, and uh, we okay. can discuss them. Okay. So the first question I would like to ask you is, how long have you been an artist? I have been an artist since the moment I could pick up a pencil. My mom said, hmm. she said that when I was younger. And as soon as I could pick up a pencil, I would just draw and draw and draw. And that it was very hard to get me to go outside. <laughs> like, I was very, like, a very, like, eccentric kid. And I loved playing and things. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, like, as soon as I picked up the pencil, I wouldn't want to leave the wow. paper. Like, me and the paper were, like, best friends. And I would just always draw all the time. Like, I would draw, like, cartoons of, like, my life. <laughs> like, little, like, if I went and ate a sandwich, I would be like, oh, I ate a sandwich or something. Oh, well, that's amazing. <laughs> so you're, like, really, really focused as a child. Because yeah, I can just I, picture you I just sitting there. I was very focused there. as a child. Yeah. I actually got taken out of class one time because I went too into detail about my life one time. <laughs> And I drew my mom naked with like a baby in her stomach. Wow! <laughs> like it was like prime art. <laughs> like that's awesome. And, like, and they took you yeah, out of class. Like, that's gonna be my brother. <laughs> and like they took me out of class and they made me go home and like they made me tear up the picture and everything because it was oh, too no. detailed. Terrible. And when I was little, I was very into learning about medical facts as right. well. Mm -hmm. So. I was very, like, knowledgeable of, like, what the human anatomy looked like, I guess. Wow. Awesome. So they had to, like, fantastic. rip it up. They're like, no naked people. <laughs> She's only in kindergarten. <laughs> wow. You, you have, you have uh, um, like, you had, you had, like, a very inquisitive mind. You know, yeah, I was like very, very into art as a, as a young, 
as a young person. <laughs> mm-hmm. And so, uh, so the question I like to ask is like, what, what, be, what made you become an artist? Like, was there something later on in life? When I was little, I like most kids, we grow up on like Disney or Nickelodeon or like PBS, mm-hmm. those like cartoon channels. But I watched a lot of Disney, mm-hmm. and I used to write every year like a biography about Walt Disney or something for school. And like, I really, really wanted to work for the animation studios because I wanted to make people as happy as I felt when I would watch the animations wow. that they would put out yeah. so like that's what really pushed me into like art a lot as wow. i got older because wow. i was like one day i'm gonna work for the disney animation studios in burbank and it's gonna be awesome amazing <laughs> but, yeah that's what i like really pushed me because i really wanted to be in the animation studios oh fantastic um <laughs> so like did you do you have any ambitions to do that now i mean I, I still do. I, yeah. I was going to, I went to, I started going to college. Um, but when I went to college, finally, to start earning, like, my art certificate and my art degree, and I was going to apply for the Disney college program, where they send you to work at Disneyland and study there, wow. like, abroad. Yep. Uh, my chronic illnesses were getting too severe, and I didn't know what was wrong. Uh-huh. So I ended up having to um, be taken out of school and I had to stop my college schooling because I was having seizures and I was falling over in class and like mm. every wow. day like people would have to catch me and stuff. Mm. So I just, I couldn't do it anymore. Wow. Um, a- yeah, so it was, it was pretty intense and I was pretty sad because like, you know, it is still a dream that I would like to achieve one day, but... Yeah. I've always been somebody that's very much of a entrepreneur. So yeah. even despite if I don't ever work at Disney, I still want to one day make people happy with art and I want to have my own business. So wow. like I've always either, it's always either been I work at Disney or I have my own business one day. So right now I'm taking the path of I'm just going to do my own business. Mm. And I'm happy now that I know most of the things that are wrong with my health. Yeah. So I could help myself to not fall over anymore as bad yeah. or anything. Yeah. And, like, I know how to help me, like, improve my life. Yeah. But it's still hard to go back to college and things. So I'm just going to take the leap and keep trying to do my own thing. Yeah. And it's working out. It's succeeding. I don't work anyway. <laughs> I think, I think what, you, what you've carved out for yourself here, like, the niche and, like, um, the community and... and what you're doing and like i think it's fantastic i think it's working out um thank you yeah, yeah. I, i've only been on twitch for four months now and four i think months, i'm pretty, doing pretty good yeah yeah it's not long <laughs> i've been working really really hard i work maybe more than eight out do- like eight dollars eight hours a day <laughs> yeah, on, yeah, yeah. <laughs> on twitch things yeah, yeah. every day and like even though I'm like exhausted and super tired, I'm still like, you know what? No, I gotta keep working at this because, you know, if I want to be a real artist one day and I want to show people my artwork out there in the world, you really gotta, you really gotta like, I guess, post your stuff everywhere. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and keep working yeah, even absolutely. if you're tired. <laughs> yeah, it's a good kind of tired. I think it's like, a, it's like a satisfaction tired, like. It's like you've got mm-hmm. something like a job well done. Like you've 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 put it in. You put you put it your all in, and you've you've done your best, and you've sat back, and you're like, yeah, uh, I've done well. I mean, and you're just patting yourself in the back. And other people, it's good when your community or people around you also appreciate you, mm-hmm. can also see the effort you put in, and can also support you, and, and just kind of give you those kind of um, good words and encourage you along the way as well. So I think that's. Um, mm-hmm. That's the good thing about what you're doing here is that you brings a lot of different people together and we're all, mm-hmm. you know, all kind of like um, admiring, you know, the, the work that you do and the effort that you put in, you know, and uh, we're just here to say, you know, let's keep that up. Um, Aw, that's so sweet. Yeah, I really appreciate the, like, little community mm. that I've started building within Twitch. It's really, it's really wild to yeah. see where 
I came from and then onto Twitch mm-hmm. and to see it grow and snowball into something a little bigger each day. Yeah. <laughs> like each day I keep meeting a new character and like yeah. it's so nice to have that support system mm-hmm. because I feel like if I didn't have as much support from everybody, I probably wouldn't be working so overtime as I am now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but like with everybody being like, keep doing your best, like it really helps for me to keep pushing myself over my limits. Mm. And just like trying my best, <laughs> yeah. uh, but um, and and that, that's a, that's a good thing to uh, keep in mind, just for our um, audience, is that you know you 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 keep pushing yourself, and but you mm. don't push yourself to the point where you're going to like break down into a heap or pala <laughs> at the end of the week. You know, you sometimes you might feel that way, but you kind of like you yeah. know you know yourself, right? Is it isn't it right? Right. You kind of know yeah. how far you got to go. You know, like, I think what you said, like... Yeah, like um, I, I always push myself until I get really, really tired, and then, like, eventually, maybe there will be one day. Because yeah. I try to live stream every day, and I try mm-hmm. to do more every day. But right. sometimes I'll be like, okay, everybody, I got to take a nap. <laughs> right, exactly. Because yeah. I, I am yeah. only human. No stream, no stream tonight. Yeah. Yeah, but even if I am really tired, I I usually try to do like a video game stream so nobody has to see how badly I look like a potato. <laughs> yeah, no, that's I, true. I still do my best. Yeah, that's true. Now, I think someone like to ask an uh, uh, um, segue into um, uh, another question is like medium. Like, what kind of medium like do you prefer to work in? Like, I what, really what, what, enjoy working with like colored pencils and markers, uh-huh. oh, but yeah. if I was going to do like, um, let's see, if I was going to do like a different type of illustration, I like do, I I come accustomed to really liking using acrylic paint or wa- watercolor. Yeah, yeah. Which which what like have you tried using? Uh, are, are there any kind of mediums that you you haven't used that you'd like to use in the future? Mm. Like I want to try all the pens. <laughs> huh? I was like, I want to try all the different kinds of pens out there. Ooh, but, yeah. but there's Coptic markers. I really want to dive it. more into using Copics. Yep. I feel like Copics are like a really nice medium that everybody mm-hmm. uses. Yeah. And like true. I do yeah. have some Copics, but I'm just a little scared to dive into them because they're so expensive and I feel like. I'm going to mess it up. <laughs> I'm going to yeah. mess up the marker. So I haven't, like, tried them. But one day I want to try using them a little more. Mm. Okay. I got to dip my pinky toe into it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, fantastic. Okay, those are those are good to um, to, to, to play with, experiment with. Um, now, mm-hmm. here, here's a couple of things, a uh, couple of questions we've got here. Uh, and if there's anyone in the chat that would like to ask... Um, we can we can open up the uh, the questions, uh, the chat to to uh, to Groovy. Groovy uh, can take some questions. Um, if you if there's anyone in the chat that would like to ask Groovy some questions, um, or myself, uh, um, or anything to do pertaining to the exhibition, please feel free to. Um, Groovy, is that okay? We can take questions from yeah. the uh, yeah. So um, anybody could ask me anything. I am an open book. That awesome. is the part of being an advocate is that I am an open book. <laughs> That's fantastic. Awesome. Okay. <laughs> uh, let me see. Okay, Groovy. I just now you've had a look at some of these. Here's a question. What has been what? Well, it might be kind of we might have already covered it, but. What's been you, one of your setbacks? What's a major setback you've had? Uh, I think a major setback that I have is probably, let's see. A major setback that I have is probably that my room does not have as much room as I would like for creating things. Mm-hmm. Like, well, my entire house doesn't have enough room to create things that I would like to create. <laughs> yeah. Because we don't have any furniture. The only furniture that I have is the table that I draw on for Twitch and 
the walker that I sit on, and then I have one rocking chair, and that's the only chair in the entire house. <laughs> Are you serious? So, yeah. <laughs> so it, it makes it a little hard to do things. Yeah. Um, but I'm not going to let that stop me from trying my best in creating things. I know in the future that I will hopefully gain more furniture and things. I bought a blue <laughs> for $5, yeah. so yeah. <laughs> that might be fun to sit on. <laughs> so let's yeah. a bit of a setback, and then, like, at times, like, my chronic illnesses do set me back at times, because it, it gets hard, because I yeah. deal with depression, so sometimes you just kind of, like, want to lay in bed forever, oh. but I, I just work my best and try to produce as much art as I possibly can yeah. when I can. Yeah. Because as I've gotten older, it does get harder to make as much art as I used to. Uh -huh. But with the help of Twitch, it's yep. really pushed me to create things. Like, mm. when you're kind of put in front of the camera and like you're like, okay, I'm going to make this. You can't yep. exactly just like start making it for five minutes and then stop. Because yeah. everybody's watching you. Yeah, exactly. So, like, like, come on, finish. Hello, I gave up my lunch time. Yeah, they're to, like, to, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So that really pushes me to work harder. So I've actually, I'm really thankful for Twitch because if I didn't, I yeah. wouldn't have nearly as much art as I would have right yeah. now. Because yeah. every day it makes me push myself to create something different, and like I have to finish the project because then I feel like I'm letting everyone down if yeah. I don't finish it. Oh no, that's true. That's that's a good. That's a that's a positive reinforcement here. Uh, let's go and yeah, chat. So Twitch really helps. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, can you, what were you saying? Oh, I said, yeah, so Twitch really helps with forcing you to finish your project. Mm, that's true, that's true. Um, <laughs> we have a question in the chat. We have uh, Flora, and her question to uh, to to you is, uh, Groovy, is what are some artists that inspire you? Mm, oh, that's a that Thank you for the question, Flora. Um, well, of course, Walt Disney is probably the original oh, yeah. artist that mm. inspired me, but mm. I really like the art by Miss Kika. She makes mm. really, really cute art. And then, uh, what's her name? Wow. Mizuno? Mm. I think that her name is Mizuno. Oh, Junko Mizuno. I okay. really enjoy like her art style as well because it's really trippy and yeah. very weird, but it's cute at the same time. Wow. She's like a Japanese artist. Okay. I uh, really like. Well, can we spell it? I mean, how 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 do you spell it? I mean. Oh, Junko can... Mizuno is. Um... I will post it. Yes, please. <laughs> yes, please. Thank I'll you very much. Post it. Post it in the chat for us. Um, that would be fantastic for anyone. Uh, who'd like to uh, check on that and reference that and just go and yeah, yeah. Like, like it has some like her artwork's very weird mm -hmm. and it does have some nudity at times but I don't know it's just really trippy that I I like how like weird it is <laughs> mm -hmm. okay yeah so I like I like her style um and then I really enjoy Let's see, Miss Kika, she was really cute. Oh, I yeah, hate when things yeah. come to the top of my head and then like it disappears. Oh, Lisa Frank, I really enjoyed her art style growing up. Like I feel like her art was mm -hmm. very colorful, mm -hmm. and so I would constantly look at her pictures. So I think that's why I'm such a colorful person mm. now she... because of her art. Is she because still alive? Is, is she still very alive? bright? I actually. I believe that she is, okay. but I'm not a hundred percent sure. <laughs> mm, mm, okay. I just, I just remember that I used to have all of the little magazines. Oh right. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I want to be part of the Lisa Frank Club. <laughs> <laughs> that was me in the nineties. Oh, that's great. Uh, I have to, I have to check it on there. Okay, mm -hmm. that's a that, that's a very good question. Thank you, Flora. Is there um. Groovy, are there any artists um, or any exhibitions or anything in, in the forthcoming future that you'd like to visit or anyone that you'd like to see? Like, you know, any um, artists that are coming up, anyone that you've 
any exhibitions you've seen recently anyone anything books or anything that you've seen recently that uh that inspired you or you thought was uh impressive in some way i'm trying to think <laughs> it, like i've been to several art museums and things like i think the latest one yep. that i went to was to go see um was to see in new york Ooh. <laughs> and they had the van gogh there oh. and so that that was really really nice to see they had some andy warhol yep. and oh, andy. they had they had other like they had other paintings as well and they had like this really cool paper gallery mm -hmm. that was like a whole town made out of paper mm -hmm. so that was a really amazing museum i wish i could remember what it was called but i that was probably during the summer when i went Wow, so lucky. Yeah, it was really cool. And then, um, what was it? I went and I saw this amazing, like, this amazing exhibit at the Arizona Art Museum. Wow. <laughs> I'm trying to uh, remember what it's called. It's by a Japanese artist. Arizona. I don't yeah. Yeah. Sounds like amazing. Well, what kind of artwork was it? Was it like um, traditional? It was like, like, a, it was like an insta installation. Uh huh. And like it was like all these lights just kind of hanging. Oh, there we go. It was by Yayoi Kusama. Oh, Yayoi Firefly. Kusuma. 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 She's a yeah. woman. Yayoi Kusuma, the Firefly Infinity Mirror Room. Oh, that wow. was one of the best music, like best like art installations that I've seen in a while. Like I really, I don't know. I just felt very peaceful in it and I really oh. enjoyed it. So that was nice. <laughs> is, this, is, this, is, this, is this this woman here? Uh, which woman? Yayoi, Yayoi Kusum, Kusama? Oh, do you want me to type it? Oh, there we go. You wrote it down. Is it her? Yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. There we go. That's it. I actually went. Um, I went. To, actually, went to uh, her gallery in Tokyo. Uh, last. You went to Tokyo. That's so cool. Last year, and I went and visited uh, her exhibition, and uh, I was hoping to see her there, but didn't catch her. She was. Um, I was told she was in another uh, location. Um. But that would have been amazing. Oh, wow. Look at that. So you were in Arizona checking out her artwork. Yeah, I wanted to see her other gallery. I think she had it. She had another gallery as well that I wanted to check out. I really enjoyed all the, like, the circles and things that she does. E. Castellano 26. They had a V says uh, they had a VR tour as well. Oh, yeah, they had a VR tour in New York Yeah. As well. Thank you very much yeah. for that. And did you did you get a chance to do that? Yeah, I did. I was very hesitant about doing it because of my light sensitivity, but I did it anyway. <laughs> Despite <laughs> worrying about yeah. getting hurt, and yeah. it was a lot of fun. Like I survived, so wow. it was good. I mean, would you recommend that to anybody to do? Like, um... oh yeah, I would definitely recommend it to others to go to that museum in New York. If I can remember the name of wow, the museum. that's so amazing. I've, I haven't been to New York. Man. Yeah, it was right there next to the Times, the New Times Square. Are, are we talking about MoMA or Whitney? Not the Whitney, eh? There we go. Is that the, the MoMA or the MoMA Museum? Oh. Must be Mo MoMA. Yeah, I think it was MoMA. Well, you're so lucky, man. I've always wanted to go to MoMA. Oh, I hope that you could go one day. It was very lovely. And they have wheelchairs for people who are, like, disabled and need assistance and stuff. Oh, so that's it's a really nice museum. Yeah. Because yeah. I, was, I was using a wheelchair the whole time. And, like, it was all handicap accessible and things. Oh, that's amazing. Mm -hmm. uh, um, is it a very big, very big um, museum? A very big art? art? I think it was, it was pretty big. I think it was like three stories. Wow. I'm not 
sure. But there was a lot of art in it. Did you get to see all of them? Like, how much, how much did you see? We went through the whole museum. Wow. <laughs> yeah. So it was really cool. Like, I enjoyed it. And they had, like, a little uh, area where you could, like, get, like, uh, drinks and stuff yeah, downstairs. Snacks. What kind of snacks did you have? I think they just had a soda because I was thirsty. <laughs> <laughs> I was really thirsty. It's really hot in New York. Yeah. I've never been to New York before, and, like, I was not used to it. I mean, it was very, like, humid. Like, very, mm. very humid. And it made my lips look fabulous <laughs> from all the humidity. But other than that, I didn't like all the humidity at the same time. Uh-huh. I mean, that's not, that sounds great. <laughs> yeah, it was really nice. I hope that you could go one day. Yeah, I love it. It was very much of an experience. Okay, well, I'll, I'll put it down on the must. must what was your favorite museum you've ever been to? Mm. Me, um, <laughs> there was an exhibition in um, the National Museum in China. Wow! Um, yeah, National Museum in China, and it was a Picasso, Picasso exhibition, and. Um, I uh, I actually I had tears. I had tears. Uh, really? I thought, yeah, I had tears when I when I saw his work. I was like, I had tears in my eyes. I, I was You're like, like so I was beautiful. moved. Yeah, I was quite moved because um, as 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 a um, yeah, I I uh, I that's a long story, but I I, I kind of like um, mm -hmm. did 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 a few art projects at school and I uh, did a research mm -hmm. on Picasso and I, and I did a whole bunch of stuff on cubism and cubism was like a style that I started to uh, adopt and, and I mm -hmm. used it on a portfolio throughout the year and uh, a lot of people didn't really like it and uh, I didn't really um, get a lot of it wasn't really um, popular and but I, mm -hmm. I still put pressed ahead anyway and uh I well as long as it made you happy that's all that matters yeah don't let anybody bring you down yeah and uh, gratefully uh, my art teacher appreciated what i was trying to do um <laughs> it wasn't a very popular painting style um at our school and uh, a lot of people didn't really like it other teachers didn't like and the faculty didn't like it so i just kept on uh, pushing the, the cubism thing and uh, mm -hmm. i actually passed but i didn't pass the flying colors but it taught me a whole lot of things about art and about um, what he must have gone through and what other artists mm -hmm. go through to try to um, push their style forward in, in an environment where people um, kind of look down upon different things. Like if you're different or something is different or new or uh, mm -hmm. doesn't go with, the, with, with what's widely accepted out there, you know, mm -hmm. it, it taught me that. It taught me um, what kind of um, how how strong you have to be to to just um, withstand the peer pressure and the pressure of mm -hmm. others and what other people think about you. Um, yeah, all, sometimes all you while, just have to yeah. stand against the crowd. Yeah, and and that's the <laughs> thing. About, uh, when I saw about Picasso, uh, that's why when I saw all his works and I get to see them um, with my own eyes, I, I I felt a little bit moved because. Um, you can. He's kind of one one of those ones that kind of uh, artist that kind of uh, came along, and he just uh, bucked against the uh, the system, and, and so did a whole bunch of other people, and um, mm -hmm. and um, they weren't afraid to. And it was really fantastic. So, yeah, I kind of uh, looked up to those uh, those guys as kind of blazing a trail, kind of thing. Mm -hmm. but, yeah, but you know, like yeah, yeah, in a way. Yeah. Well, I'm proud of you for keep doing what you're loving. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. You just thank have you. to keep working hard. I'm proud yeah. of you. Thank you very much. Nobody's told you today. I'm telling you I'm proud of you. Thank you. you thank you, Groovy. I, I, thank you. Um, thank welcome. you very much. Um, yeah, so enough about me. Let's let's uh, have a look at a couple of more questions. If there's anyone mm -hmm. in the chat that would like to ask, uh, we have Groovy here for a little for a little while longer. Um, Groovy, here's a here's a very interesting uh, introspective question. 
Uh, mm -hmm. What advice would you give to your, your younger self? My younger self. Yeah, you, what, would you, advice, what would you say? That, the advice that I would give myself is that even though everything seems extremely, extremely terrible and it's very, very hard, mm. one day it'll get better. <laughs> and that you just have to be yourself. Mm. Don't let people, you know, peer pressure you into being somebody else. Mm. And... You know, I should. I wish I had like a younger me that told me that like I was gonna lose all my art supplies and lose everything that I ever owned. Yeah. So that way I would have been more prepared mentally and like just, you know, ready. But you know, it's it's difficult. <laughs> so I think what I would just tell myself is just you know be more prepared and. Maybe you go to work a little earlier in life before you get too sick to function at a normal job. <laughs> mm. Yeah. yeah. So, so yeah. there's a lot of things I tell my younger self, but mm. I think mostly I would tell my younger self that despite everything that happens, it's going to be okay. And then, and that one day you're just going to do something great and just be yourself. Because I wish I didn't go through a phase where, like, you know, I listen to my friends and they're like, you should straighten your hair because it looks nicer. Oh, right. or yeah, yeah. You should, you know, yeah. I wish I could have just skipped that and just always been super, super myself. But you live and you learn. Mm. <laughs> that's, that's true. Yeah. Um, I, I, if, if I was asked to myself that question, but like my younger self, mm -hmm. you know, I was thinking about, just as you were saying, as you were talking, I was thinking to myself, what would I what would I say to my younger self? So I invite everyone here in, in, in the chat to ask yourself, what would you, what would you ask your younger self? So if you're in mm -hmm. chat and you'd like to tell us or share what, you, what the, um, that would be, that would be fantastic because we'd like to know. Um, but for mm -hmm. me, what I was thinking, I was thinking to myself, if I, was, if I could talk to my younger self, I'd tell that person, my younger self, I'd just say, listen, you're a lot stronger, right, mm -hmm. than you, you, you think. You're a lot stronger than you think. So, mm -hmm. and that, that, why I'm saying that is that at, the, at certain times when I was younger, I kind of doubted myself. I kind of second-guessed myself um, in a lot of different areas and aspects of my life when it came to job opportunities, relationships, personal development, and a whole bunch of other things. I just felt that mm -hmm. had I had a different opinion of myself, I think I would have taken things a little bit more by the horns. You know, I, I, I mm -hmm. kind of felt almost as if I had allowed a lot of the chatter from um, my own internal way of thinking you know that you know that you kind of acquire acquire through your upbringing and experiences and early childhood experiences and stuff i think that kind of chatter was a little bit too prominent and i i think had i been able to just uh, uh turn that down a little bit and just be, be, been a little more confident or at least uh known that i had uh resources within me mm -hmm. that i could have drawn on at times where I needed to, I think my my experiences of life, with certain ish, uh, certain um, situations, may have uh, been a little bit different. So I'm not saying that mm -hmm. I'm not happy with where I am in life now, but because um, I've met some amazing people along the way and and uh, and continue to into the future, I'm just saying is that that's what I would say to my younger self because I'm pretty sure. The trajectory would have been different, not in a bad. Not mm -hmm. saying that what I, where I am now is bad, but you know what I mean. I, I just think that there were certain situations yeah. that I could have done better, that I could have made different decisions that that could have been get could have affected my life and the lives of others around me in a, in a way that would have mm -hmm. only enhanced things. I'm not saying you know what I mean. It's like I could have done better. In the area, I just could have done better, and I think I would have mm -hmm. 
as a young man, had I had that discussion with myself, just put myself aside and say, hey, listen, mm -hmm. no one's having this discussion with you. This is what you do. I go back in time and I tell him, hey, look, you know, you're a lot stronger than you think. And the others give you credit for, give you, you know, mm -hmm. just go, you can go through it and just do it. Just, you, you'll be all right. And that, that'll mm -hmm. teach you something that, that'll give you something that'll carry you through to the next part of your life, you know, and then you're mm -hmm. going to get something from there as well. So, yeah. Yeah. Know. Well, I'm still proud of you. I'm proud of us both, despite of yeah. us not being able to go Ooh. back in the past and telling us to change things. I still think we're doing yeah. pretty good. We're doing all right. <laughs> okay. Now let's, let's, uh, We've got a couple more questions for you, Groovy, and then we'll be out. I'll let you get back to what you're doing. Um, so we've got a couple more questions. Um, they're pretty lighthearted. First one is, what's your favorite color? What's your favorite food, movie, and music? So first of all, what's your favorite color? My favorite color uh -huh. is light blue. Light I blue. love light blue. I like light blue, black, and neon green. Neon green. Those are my three top favorite colors. Lovely. Okay, and your yeah. favorite food? Pizza. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I love pizza. Wow. Like, I grew up off of Ninja Turtles, and oh, yeah. I yeah. love that they also love pizza. And, I yep. was and like, they're yeah. also green. They're also green. Oh, they're also green, yeah. <laughs> That's um, true. That's true. So don't tell me, don't don't tell me your favorite movie is Ninja Turtles. I love the Ninja Turtles movie. Hey. That that is my second. That is my second favorite movie. Yep. <laughs> but my first one is the Goofy movie. Goofy I love movie. The Goofy. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hey, and guess we've just got a wonderful guest in the chat. It's Suchi Kuchi. Suchi, hi. How are hey, you? Really glad you could make it. That's such and, a cute name. Yeah, we have Suchi Kuchi in the chat. Suchi, um, we're just about to wrap up our interview here. It's very glad that you can make it. We're really glad. And you love Goofy Movie too. Oh my gosh. She loves Goofy. I am so happy right now. <laughs> <laughs> I wish that Suchi Kuchi could see the smile on my face because... It, it it's great when you meet other people that like the Goofy movie. Yeah. I went and saw it at the El Capitan. What was it last year on the widescreen, and it was great. <laughs> I'm 28 years old, and I'm still watching the same movie over and over again. <laughs> now, now, Suchi, um, Suchi, uh, Groovy here has an amazing story. Um, her channel here. Um, let me see. Let me let me let me go back. You can you can find her um um her artwork here. So what we so in the gallery exhibition here. Mm. Okay, you can have a look through here. Yeah, it's super groovy. It's super <laughs> groovy. Oops, super <laughs> groovy. I clicked on the link. Uh, so we can go through here and and um, here's Suchi's artwork here, Groovy. Oh, lovely. That's very cool. Uh, she's a she's a leather how would you call it? A leather worker? A leather worker. She she makes leather. Oh Yeah. And she she has a um also she's a Twitch streamer. That's groovy. Yeah. Nice and, to meet you, Suchi Kuchi. And that's and very I, cool that you cook with leather. And, um, and, uh, yeah, follow each other. Flora, let me go out of here. <laughs> Flora. <clears throat> and there are a couple of other artists around here. Very so, cool. So, so, um, I like how whimsical it looks. Yeah, she's got a lot of amazing products. I'm hoping, um, so hopefully we'll get um, Suchi in here. Mm-hmm. And uh, we can have a uh, chat with her. <clears throat> nice. I love leatherworking. And nice to meet you too. 
Flora, I want to learn how to do leather work to make myself custom knee braces. Wow. Nice. Well, we've got a very, very creative um, chat here tonight. Yes, all the creative people gathering together. I love it. That's what I love about Twitch, that you could connect with so many various artists out there in the world mm -hmm. in the matter of seconds. And hang on, just and yeah, we'll be like, yes, 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 Usuchi. Let's see. Yeah, will our interview be live like this? Nice, Rooney. It most likely will be. Probably, yeah, yeah, it will. It will yeah. It'll probably probably be mm -hmm. if I if I if I don't if I don't sneeze through it, I'll probably s not <laughs> sneeze through it completely. And um, like, be okay. Yeah. We, um, Suchi, um, <clears throat> our um, groovy yeah. groovy's art. Artwork here, this one here. It's um, it that's has actually a... my hand. Yeah, that's my real. That's your real hand. My... Yeah, that's my hand shape. They look all skinny and bony, don't they? I, I, yeah, there's a little bit yeah, here. Is it like a, like you know you can see your knuckles? Yeah, hey, I traced my hand. Yeah, you yeah, it was fantastic. It's amazing. I've done a lot of hand turkeys when I was younger, so I think that also inspired it. Oh, so she's a bit obsessed with hands, she says. Oh, really? Yeah, I have very, very skinny, long hands. Hands and Kinda hearts. Kind of like Cat Skeleton. Hands and hearts. Oh, I love hearts, too. Groovy. That's very cool, Suji Coochie. And, um... I have a couple of questions. Yes, for, Rooney. Uh, I have a couple more questions for you, um, Groovy. Don't go away. Um, I'm not leaving. <laughs> <laughs> this is my bedroom. <laughs> oh, don't you? Okay, don't okay. I'll have it. Okay. What is your favorite <laughs> quote? And Suchi, you can answer this. And anyone else in chat can answer this. What is your favorite quote and why? Groovy? My, what is your favorite quote My and why? favorite yeah. quote? I, I don't know. I don't really have a favorite quote. No favorite quote? It, it, like, I used to have one in Japanese. Japanese. But I can't, but I can't exactly remember because it's been so long, but I remember I used to say it all the time. Uh -huh. And it was like, I think it was like, Senri mo, Michi mo. I can't remember. Oh. <laughs> but that one was one of my favorite quotes, but if I can ever find it, I will... I will send it to you. It was like a little Japanese proverb or something okay. from when I was studying Japanese. And like I have a piece of artwork that is based on it. Uh huh. But I don't know. I've okay. I've never been too into quotes. I've always just like I always like to look up just like positive lines and quotes. Uh huh. And those are usually what I really enjoy. Like I've never picked like a just like one certain quote. I just like finding anything that is really positive and happy. Uh -huh. And then usually my favorite quotes are like things that come from like people that I know, and they tell me like their own like little positive like spin on life. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Hey, um, what's up, shenanigans? Nineteen thirty. Shenanigans. Hey. Now shenanigans is another artist who's been featured in uh this uh, exhibition now uh, mm -hmm. shenanigans uh how you doing buddy uh shenanigans was uh streaming oh, cool. earlier. yeah They're now sh shenanigans is a pearl perla perla am i saying it right perla artist oh and he has a, a wonderful a community yeah and that's here is his artwork here Let's wait for it to get into focus. And that's his artwork here. Shenanigans. Pearl. Fuse beads. Oh. 
fantastic. Oh, Perlers! Yeah, yeah. And oh, wait, I remember what my favorite quote is now. What's your favorite quote? <laughs> I remember it's Senri no Michi mo Ipokara, which Ipokara. means a journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. Oh, I like it. I like it. I had to think in my head really long and hard on how to pronounce all the words because it's been a while. Oh, that's amazing. Thank you. I like. Uh, you know what? I've heard that one before. I've heard that before and I love it. It's one of my favorites. It's so true. Yeah, it's, it's okay. very nice because sometimes you just got to take that leap of faith mm. and then you never know. You got to right. dive in. That's right. That's so true. That's so true. Um, <laughs> Shannigans, thank you very much for joining us. Uh, have you met? Is Suchi still here? Maybe she's oh, still. I know Suchi. Well, Suchi, Suchi is another um, streamer, Shan, Shan is, and uh, sh she's also in the um, exhibition. And she, wow. she's yep, awesome. Sorry, I was getting amazed by the things that are made by shenanigans. Yeah, he's got some amazing stuff. I like the shields. I like his cap shields. Mm -hmm. yeah, I'm really looking. Forward I really to like it. the the ca the game cabinet of Pac Man. Yeah, look it. I mean, that one has very nice detail. You know, he sells his stuff on Etsy. So if anyone is there, uh, mm -hmm. there's links all over the place. You can go and uh, check him out. So guys, um, nice. if you have a, if you, I believe I have followed her already, but a double check. Her work is awesome. Yeah, Suchi's, Suchi and Groovy are two fantastic artists. We've, we've got Aww. some fantastic artists here, and uh, I'm really, really uh, excited about talking to you guys about them and sharing and just getting this your work out there and just um, sharing it with you. I'm glad you guys are uh, able to talk and uh, meet each other. And, well, we're all yeah. glad to know you. Ah, yeah, that's fantastic. And uh, here is... Um, um so here here we go down here guys and i'll just show you um groovy's i'm gonna go into um one of her streams mm -hmm. yeah that was my little planet <laughs> okay there you go oh uh, we got twitch We'll run some Twitch ads. We can run Twitch ads. No, whoa! You got the video of me running. <laughs> That's so cool. You have high technology, Bree. So we've got. Uh, we'll we'll have some of. Um, we'll have Groovy's channel here. So this is Groovy and her element. This is me. Crafting away. So Always that's, that's crafting. Groovy there. I'm having connection yeah. issues. Yeah. So I don't on, only do like see, just drawing. I do all kinds of crafting. I'm a very a very artsy says, person. Uh -oh. I do paintings uh -oh. and drawings and charcoal uh -oh. and pretty much anything I get my hands on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I like to use a lot of recycled why? materials mm -hmm. to and go. How, how often would you stream? Um, do you have a a, a um, any particular type of uh, schedule? I don't currently have a schedule because I've been working so hard to make everything for my stream. Like, I made my own emotes by hand, and I've made the sub badges by hand, and I don't have a drawing tablet, so it was taking a little longer than the normal person. Oh, we are back. Okay, Like, I was just using the little finger pad on the the laptop I felt uh -huh. bad. Like, well, that was taking a lot of my out, time but now that I've done that I'm going to work towards so making a schedule but mostly I stream like, at night yep. probably we'll around like 8 to like 4 in the morning yep. <laughs> it just depends so I, I do stream every day it just different times every day there's no schedule so far sometimes I even stream in the morning I just be like I'm awake it's and time you, to stream. Do you do you take commissions or like um, do you sell your art anywhere or like are you open to commissions? Uh, I I'm gonna be open up for commissions. 
because mm-hmm. I did used to do commission work, so I will be opening up doing commissions again soon. Yeah. And I will be opening a Redbubble account, so that way people can buy like merchandise of all my little aliens oh, and wow. uh, and little like uh, UFOs and weird planet art. You know, you know another another amazing person to that you could um, uh, connect with through here on this platform is um, in the gallery is Rachel. Who makes Raven Ooh. Alien? And and um, I'll, I'll quickly go over there and just um, hang on. Let's pull up. Uh, that's her here, and she's got a red bubble um, already sorted, and she's oh, nice. she's quite amazing. Yeah, and she's got her artwork oh, I, I is have fantastic. Red bubble, but it won't let me change my name, so I have to redo it all over again. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. And and um, chat, Su- Suchi, you're absolutely right. It is hard for creatives. To stream on a consistent schedule she's right yeah you know, and suchi it, it, is, i feel like it's huh? easiest to win like you have uh-huh. that burst of creativity and you're like okay i'm ready to go now <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, a lot of true. the things that i come up with are i come up with them like 15 minutes before stream and i'm like okay i'm gonna make this and then that's how i make so many weird things like mr pear who is like a pear with googly eyes and stuff or a monster out of vitamin d bottle like, <laughs> I think the spear, the spur of the moment is what kind of pushes all the creativity juices into one spot. Mm, that's true. When I, when I do schedule things, it seems more stressful, too. Because then I don't know. I don't know. I'm not much of a planner. So, but, it's just kind of, what happens, what happens. Uh, do, are you planning to, like, um... The, the the work that you've you've done now, this one here. Is it a, is it a print? Is it a print? Or Which one? Have you got this in in any other form? Oh, the drawing that I did. Yeah, this one here in a piece. Is it, is it in a print form or is it any other way? I don't have any prints of it, but maybe one day I'll do prints. That might mm. be cool. Right now, I just have the original copy plastered to my wall. <laughs> yeah. With some tackies. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I, uh, I think I having think... a print would be cool. Mm-hmm. Maybe one day I'll redo it in, like, a digital form. That might yeah. be kind of cool. Okay, Groovy, what do you think about what Suchi's saying? She's saying that she thinks all the things that people say... Uh, the grow your stream doesn't apply to all creatives which is true um things you say you yep. should do to grow your stream do not apply to creators all yeah and your viewers can see your stress i get stressed too if i try to keep a schedule um yeah i think creative people are very a lot of us are very spontaneous and all over the place mm, with true. our creativity like it's very for me personally, it's very hard to like schedule and like to make everything perfect. Like if somebody came to my art desk and they looked at it, they'll look at it and they'll be like, oh my goodness gracious, this person is so messy, nothing's organized, but in my eyes, everything's in just the right spot and if you move it, I'm gonna go crazy because I know that that one blue colored pencil is way there, like way over on the left where like the green colored pencil is like somewhere like up there or something Mm -hmm. and like I know where everything is so I think creative people are just a little more wackier than your average Joe I think (laughs) because that's how I am I'm just a little like all over the place that's true but I think it really depends on like the type of creative person. Like you have like your creative people that are very neat and mm-hmm. they have everything where they know where it is. Like I watched this one live streamer and like they are very clean when they paint. But I am the type of creative person where I just create chaos when I yeah. <laughs> do anything and leave a giant mess. And I get paint in my hair and I get glue in my hair and on my face. And sometimes when I live stream, I wish somebody would say that I got paint on my face. <laughs> It's okay. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah. It's the life of being an artist. Yeah, it's part of the process. It's the process. Yeah, it's part of the process. <laughs> and what you... Flora, it's a ball of stress. Oh, it's okay, Flora. 
I, I get really stressful before, like, before I live stream. Like, I have to walk around in a couple circles. I'm like, I gotta do this. I could do this. <laughs> yeah. So it's, it's right. perfectly normal to be stressed out for. Yes. And Suchi, oh no, Shan, the community and networking part is still very important. He says that it's, networking is important. Uh, Bruce opens me up to new people every time I come to a stream. Fantastic. I think it's more fun. Suchi says it's more fun to see spontaneous, spontaneity, excitement in a creative artist versus their mundane have-to attitude. And she agrees with you, Groovy. Mm -hmm. Uh, the paint and also, thanks again for shenanigans for saying my monster looks great. Oh, I kind of yeah. grabbed my vitamin C bottle it and does. I was like, this is, is going to be a monster. I literally planned that like five minutes before live stream. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, shenanigans. You should have checked out, You well, you still can check out her um, alien, green alien with the pink hair. Is it the pink hair? Pink hair? Pink hair? Pink haired alien girl. Oh, yeah! My alien with the yeah. pink hair, the blue one. Yeah. I was like, what are you talking about? My alien's buff and ripped. Yeah. <laughs> buff and ripped. But she she made, she made painted a, an alien girl. Green. Yeah. It? yeah. Very cool. Very, very cool. I paint a lot of aliens and stuff because I feel like I relate to aliens. Mm. Always being kind of weird and out there and having Tourette syndrome and all kinds of things, it kind of makes you feel like an outsider in yeah. this human world. So yeah. that's why I've always related to like aliens and stuff. And that's why I have so many aliens in my stream. And, w because... and we were talking about, sorry. <laughs> I was like, oh, because like one day I hope that I can make a children's book for other kids with special oh. needs and things. Yeah. And I want it to be based around aliens and how we kind of feel like we're from a different planet and we don't kind of fit into like the normal society so that's why i have so many aliens if anybody out there did not know that yeah. that is why i started with a bunch of aliens and, that's why they're my favorite and we were, we were talking earlier um we were, we, we were talking earlier about tourette's and post-traumatic uh, stress disorder and uh the some of the difficulties that people who are dealing with this uh, have it in, in in the real world and how people can be behave like real you know dirtbags or you know stickers and and so uh one of the things that impressed me most about groovy is that she's able to achieve so much in spite of all the difficulties and, and, and the challenges that she faces and we we're looking at this art piece here that she made that you're looking at now called inner peace and uh we were able to just kind of dissect and just draw around a whole bunch of different meanings and um it's just amazing how relatable her story is to like a lot of different other people who might maybe going through the similar um experiences with tourettes and mm -hmm. uh, post-traumatic stress but it could be a, a whole range of things so um that's the wonderful thing about um a groovy story and her artwork in her channel it's very positive she she welcomes Aww. everybody she's very positive um and and you probably wouldn't realize that you know what's going on in, in, in the back store right just like all the stuff that's going on in her life she's always trying to give you a positive you know and she's always positive positive and and it's very hard to find people like that and that's one of the things uh, that appeals to me and and, and I, I really like about um uh, i was going to say love but you know mm -hmm. you know, love uh, is a pretty <laughs> i'm gonna say love you don't want to be like romantic i'm not in a, a romantic relationship or anything like i would say love but you know but i really love the thing about um about uh groovy is that she's positive man just just look at her just look at her work just look at her channel check out her channel go and say hi and uh, feed off feed some of their positivity yeah. Aww. You're so sweet, Breeze. I really appreciate that. And uh Suchi Kuchi, thank mm -hmm. you. And your sister also has Tourette's. Oh, Tell her that she... I'm proud of her and she's really strong because Tourette's is a very, very difficult thing to live with, but we all do our best to cope and learn different strategies on how to deal with living to with Tourette's syndrome. Oh, yeah. So 
I'm sending lots and lots of love to your family, Suki Kuchi, you, and your sister. Because I know that it's a very difficult disorder. Yeah. And it's very nice to me to know that there's other people out there like me. <laughs> well done, yeah. Oh, thank you, Shenanigans1930. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah, so it's, it's great. Many people are on your channel. Yeah, it's fantastic. It's awesome. Awesome people. Um, I know all the positivity. Uh, shenanigans, uh, Alien is cool and no one knows about Larry yet, but yeah. Larry? Larry, Larry, Larry from Outer Space. Alien. Larry from Outer Space. Mm. I'm trying to think. Was that the guy from the Flintstones? Uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> There's so many different aliens There's out there. There's aliens. There's so many different, yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. So many planets. Yeah, there's so many planets, that's true. <laughs> um, I was like, Larry was though. my lizard. But it's good that you're working. Because that means you're making yes. so that way you can survive and It's fantastic, guys. No, oh, Suji Kuchi. You're very sweet, too. I really appreciate that. And I appreciate Shenanigans 1930 uh, for saying nice things, too. And that I, I agree that it's awesome to find people that can relate. Mm. It's so true. I feel like it really helps to have like a positive community behind your back and mm. telling you to strive to do your best and things. I yeah. feel like having a support group as an artist really helps you to keep creating and things. Yeah, that's so true. Yeah, that is absolutely so true. Um, oh, <laughs> I have a question. Uh, this probably will be our last question. Um, What's up, Buttercup? For, for tonight, our last question, uh, Groovy. Now, what what can you expect, like from the future? What can we, the viewer, what can we, the audience, what can we, um, like, what can we expect from you in the future? Like, what what's what what can what can we uh, look forward to? Hmm. There are so many things to look forward to. Hopefully, it's me doing my best still and creating lots new, like lots of new pieces and things. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And also, I have a really big thing coming up. Um, yes, coming in. Let's Tell us. I'm trying to look at this paper real quick to see if I can tell you. Okay. It says it could stay on April 3rd. What day is it? Is it April 2nd? It's really close. It's really close to April 3rd, so I feel like I'm able to tell you. Are you I'm telling us tell an you. April Fool's joke? April. No, no, it's not an April Fool's joke. Okay. <laughs> and even my mod doesn't really know. She kind of knows because I'm I wasn't allowed to tell anybody for a year. But I will be uh, starring in a documentary series um, on national TV. Wow! <laughs> and you it will be here. showing. You hear it here, here, guys? Tell us what's what. what? And, and Breeze, you're the first one to know in the first interview to hear that I will be on live television. Wow. Well, not on live television, but like, you know, real, real TV that's going to be everywhere. Oh little, my gosh. It's a little stressful, but it will be coming in May, and they sent me an email last night telling me that it's okay finally on, you know, on the 3rd, and the 3rd somewhere. <laughs> it's the 3rd. Is it the 3rd? It's the third. I believe it's the third where you live. Yeah, it's right? the third where I am. Yeah. Okay, so it's all good. It's all good. Yeah. So I will, I will be on TV on A and E and stuff, and everybody will get to see my actual like life story wow. and my room where all the art is done and a documentary about my life. Amazing. So that is something that. I am looking forward to in the future. Wow, that coincided. <laughs> that coincided so yeah. well. I could not have timed that. Wow. <laughs> you timed it really well. <laughs> really well. Amazing. And, uh, yeah, the commercials haven't come out or anything yet, but I'm hoping that they look okay. Okay, let's check <laughs> out the chat. And, um... Let's see, wow, big time TV. Yeah, I will be on big time TV and I'm stressed. Wow. But <laughs> hopefully it will come out good. And yeah. that I will be a good uh, mental health and chronic illness advocate and yep. show people the world my art. Because wow. I will be showing people the 
be crafting and my art in my room and stuff. Um, I'm, 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 I'm me and Suchi are in absolute awe of how long you <laughs> kept that secret. What this is very hard. <laughs> yeah. Very. I've been through a very, very intense year, and that's, and like, the way I ended up on Twitch was a very intense way, but, you know, maybe everything's just falling into place the way it's supposed to, and hopefully, maybe... It will all be okay. <laughs> yeah, it will be great. It'll be okay. It'll be more than okay. Wow. Thank you, Bree. It is so yeah, exciting. Yeah, but just, just don't post about it like on Twitter and stuff that I will be no. on it. No, we'll, like, we'll just let you. Because I don't yeah. know for sure <laughs> exactly what I yeah. should tag in it. For. That's all good. It's all good. No, it's all good. It will, it will be out soon, though. Yeah, no, we'll just wait for you. We'll just, we'll be behind you. Yeah, we'll be behind you. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Bree. Wow. Oh my god, so exciting. How can uh, one who does not <laughs> have like cable... <laughs> yeah. You're, ha you're having a mini tiny star on your little... Yeah. Little... It's fantastic. I'm just kidding. I'm not a, I'm not a real oh, star. Oh, yes, you are. Don't, don't be like that. You are. You know it. You know it. Um, <clears throat> uh, this is fantastic. This is fantastic. <clears throat> So, Let's see, how could you keep it secret for a year? A, a lot of stress, that's how I kept it secret. <laughs> mm. uh, <laughs> it was very hard. And that's how I went to that museum, the MoMA museum that I was <clears> talking to <throat> you about. Because they sent me out to New York. Okay, um, just one question. So nobody um, knew about that either, except for you. Groovy, uh, Suchi has a very good question. She says, yeah. um, how can one know how to get it on cable and like and see what's the documentary called like how do we how do we find it how do we get to it how do we watch it uh you could follow me on twitch and or uh join my discord <coughs> and i will be posting more news about it there later i just know that it will be on a and e tv okay uh they said they're gonna send me more information soon so if you would like to see it and see me with my full-blown Tourette syndrome, because TV really likes, really likes to push your button, okay, and show you at your worst, um, you are welcome to find me at Twitch or any of my other social medias, and I will be posting more information soon. Okay. As soon um, as now I'm I'm just uh, pulling up your. Uh... And they and, and they found me so. I don't know how to reach out to TV stations and things. They they found me over Facebook. Okay. So I've just posted in there your Twitter. That's your Twitter handle. Okay. So uh, if you guys anyone wants to uh, follow her, uh, so you're gonna post up all the updates and stuff like that, and when we can get hold of it and we can watch it, mm -hmm. it'll be fantastic. So if anyone wants to check out her Twitter, <clears throat> she's got a wonderful picture. And who's the cat? Who's the cat in the this cat? picture? Beautiful cat. Oh! Okay, it might be Baby Chunk. Baby Chunk. <laughs> yeah, Baby Chunk is my cat that I always have on live stream. This right here, this is Baby Chunk. I just sent the gif. The little, oh. no, the little emote. The little oh. emote is of that cat. Oh, I no. think that you're talking about. <laughs> okay, shenanigans is followed. Thank you very much, Shane. Oh, thanks, shenanigans. I really appreciate it. Fantastic. I tell everyone when I got them for Christmas and I... <laughs> oh, sushi kun. I'm bad at keeping secrets too. It's been really hard. <laughs> oh, I can't keep secrets. Oh, I can. I'm good. I'm good at secrets. Yeah. Sometimes. Oh, sushi what I... asked what it's about. It's a documentary about my life. Mm. Wow. <laughs> and Amazing. it's about finding a job and things with having Tourette syndrome. So it's mostly about people with like mm, with like medical conditions and things that can't find work in the workplace and their life stories. Yeah. Oh, that's mm -hmm. so amazing. Um, I, I, I can't wait. I can't wait. And they're supposed to come out soon, right? Uh, May? They still supposed to come out in May. May. A certain day in May, but they're going to yeah. give me more details soon and stuff. Oh, well, as long as they don't clash, at, yeah. It's gonna come on at 10 p.m. on A&E. 10 a.m. 
Sinaim. But I will be posting all the details and stuff because they said they're not sure if they might change it. Okay. Well, that's good. As long as it doesn't come at, at the same week as uh, Avengers Endgame. Ninjas Endgame? The Avengers. It's not the same. Oh, the same. Yeah. Oh, man. I'll, yeah. I, would miss, I would miss my own premiere to go see that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm really oh, okay. <laughs> Yeah, I wouldn't go check it. No, no, I'm just kidding. Okay, that sounds oh, fantastic. Okay. Thank you. So, okay, guys. Um, well, I think we'll, we'll be wrapping it up pretty soon. Um, Suchi, I love those kinds of documentaries. I can really relate so much. Not because I have med issues, but I'm a single mom to a kid who does. So the struggle is real, and it was also hard for me uh, to, to, to keep a find a, a job while caring for her. Oh, now, Suchi, 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 I'm sending you lots and lots of loves. Now, and you if know, you ever need to talk to, you are welcome to message me. Because mm -hmm. I understand that Twitch a lot. That, like, yeah. I get covered in paint, and, like, they had no paint on them at all. Thank you, Groovy. Thank you, Suchi. Really You're nice welcome. Um, Suchi... I have to tell everybody that they have someone out there that they care. Mm. There's no getting yeah. around it. I just always get paint on them. Yeah. And she's got some great emotes. Aww. Fantastic emotes. Cutie patootie. She's got amazing emotes too. Aww, all the emotes spam. Yeah, you can spam. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, show off that rip body. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> you made them? You made your own emotes? Oh, oh cool, that's cute. Now you made your own emo too. Yeah, we both yeah. have our own emo. Super talented. Okay, oh, she's amazing. <laughs> yeah. Like, oh, so that's Suchi. Why can't I okay, guys. I love it. We should call it a stream. And uh, so let, let okay. some of you guys go to get, get some rest. Um, Groovy. It's been real groovy. And, uh, <laughs> really far it's been really far out. It's been real groovy having you. And um, so, guys, um, let's um, let's uh, head back. Head back in here. <laughs> well, it was really totally tubular talking with you two, Breeze. And your voice is totally different than I expected. Uh, Sound like you could be like. Like a, like a, what was it, one of those finger stars? Really? Like for jazz? Some oh. smooth jazz? <laughs> <laughs> okay, alright. Oh, really? Okay, alright. Um. <laughs> Suchi, thank you very much for the follow. You rule. You rule. Um. Suchi, thank you very much. Really appreciate you. Um, guys, everyone, please uh, thank our guest, uh, Groovy Blue Hue, for opening up, uh, for having the time to come in and uh, have a, um, a, a, an amazing interview with us. We really do uh, uh, appreciate her time and energy. And um, and uh, if, if, if it was... Um, um, I just just want to just thank thank you, um, Groovy, for everything. Really appreciate you for coming in, and um, I really appreciate you for having me. Yep, it's, it's it's wonderful. Thank you for coming in. Um, really love your artwork. Really love what you do. We love your energy. We love your enthusiasm. We love your positivity. We love your advocacy. We love uh, you. Uh, your hopeful hopefulness and your uh, your positive um, outlook on life. We love that. We mm -hmm. love your community. We love everything about what you're doing. Uh, we just want you to keep striving forward, keep it up, keep going, and uh, keep doing um, the best that you very you, that you can. Uh, and mm -hmm. we're all behind you, and we're all uh, very supportive. And we just love to see what more great creations that you come up with. And uh, we're, we're very blessed to have you um, share your story with us. 
So uh, from from myself mm -hmm. and from the chat, I'm sure the chat you can see the love in the chat. So we just like to thank you and uh, wish you all the best and uh, come back uh, again. And this exhibition, folks, will be going on for another month. So you'll have an opportunity mm -hmm. to see uh, her artwork here. But ideally, what you want to do is you want to head over to her uh, Twitch stream, head over to her website, and head over to her Twitter, wherever she is uh, out there on the world of internet, and uh, get to talk Aww. to her, get to see her. That's Ideally, you want to see her yourself. Uh, but I'm just really glad that we were able to um, see her in this exhibition. So thank you very much, Groovy. And uh, would you like to have uh, the final say? Any final thoughts for uh, everyone here? Oh, I just want to say thank you again, Breeze, for the lovely time and the lovely talk. It was very nice. And I hope that we get to talk again real soon. And yeah, I hope to see everybody out there on social media and we get to all hang out again real soon. I really appreciate all the love coming from the chat and all the positivity. And I hope everybody keeps doing their best and keep making artwork and doing things that they love. <laughs> okay, fantastic. So thank you again, Breeze. You're welcome. You're very welcome. Thank you very much. And I uh, just want to thank everyone in the chat, Suchi, Shenanigans, Flora. Uh, we also had uh, uh, someone. Uh, Ika, to be honest. Yeah, we had some. Yeah, that was my people. boyfriend. <laughs> oh, oh, was he? Oh, good on you. And uh, yeah, guys, thank you very much. We really appreciate you. And thank you for coming in and making this a very uh, uh, lively event and a discussion and a sharing of views and ideas. So we really appreciate it. And the sharing of emotes as well. We really love you, Such. Such, you got the best emotes we know. Um, <laughs> and you made them, which makes them even more fun. Well, well you're, you're, you're tied. You're tied with Groovy because that, that alien bod, he's got the alien bod. I know, I've heard of dad bod, but I've never heard of alien bod. But um you and Bob be ripped. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay, Suchi. Thank you very much, guys. Okay, Suchi. Thank you, Suchi. Shenanigans. Thank you guys. Groovy. It's thank been a pleasure. You. Have yourself a wonderful day and we'll catch you on stream another time. Guys, this has been Breeze. I hope you've enjoyed the uh, exhibition and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Later guys. <laughs> Bye everybody.